Mitch, if you would talk a little bit about, I think Secretary Perez mentioned um, some of what helped us get funded was our partnerships. Um, will you talk a little bit about what the other institutions bring and, and how that's going to work? Right. <clears throat> because mission critical operations cuts across so many different types of industries, one of the things that we looked for as is, is we were putting the, the, our project team together and looking at our partners was some of the individual skill sets that each of the different colleges brought to the table. Um, and so some, some of our partners have uh, very unique skills and, and very unique programs at their schools that we don't have at our program. Uh, for example, Moultrie Tech um, has a, uh, a very good representation with connections to the high school levels and getting high school students involved in the technical programs that they have there at Moultrie Tech. And they do a lot of that through the remote uh, telepresence sessions, kind of like what we demonstrated in the labs a little earlier. So working with Moultrie Tech, trying to figure out exactly how we can reach into the high schools and we can kind of grow that, that pipeline from the high schools up to the college and, and then on. Um, Wake Tech brings to the table a, a, a series of um, a big data analytics and being able to, to, to look at all of the information that's generated in the various control systems and being able to look at trends and patterns and, and try to predict where, where things are going from there. Um, NASH has an has a, uh, emergency preparedness program and, and an emergency response program that's also critical to the mission, mission critical side of things. If, when the lights go out, what do you do now? Uh, how do you respond to that and how do you, you, know, how do you, you know, get the utilities back up and, and, and whatnot? Um, and then of course UNC Charlotte is our partner also uh, from the academic standpoint gives us a, an opportunity to work with developing uh, closely with them a 2 plus 2 program uh, but they're also recognized for cybersecurity expertise and so to bring that element of it in and, and match it up with the industrial networking part of it um, and then of course with our program our automation program here and our IT programs here and, and, and kind of putting everything together in, in, into the big melting pot um, that's, that's where, we, where we brought the project from. Well, you really embody uh, partnership. And again, I've, I have the privilege of seeing uh, applications from across the country and to all the uh, uh, colleges that participated. Uh, that was really the key. I mean, I think you've embodied why you were selected because you really had uh, remarkable partners, not just in education, but uh, employer partners and, and others. And, and that is critical. Uh, you, and you understand the demand needs of your, of your region. And, that's why it's so exciting. If I'm a student here, I would know that if I get through this, uh, you, you already have a job, Ken, and, and uh, Ken is a representative sample of, of folks here because you have such a good uh, set of partners. One other thing that, that we tied into the grant, um, and we do have some partners, I, ISA is here, uh, is to get some industry-recognized certifications. Um, and so that not only would you have your degree, um, but you would have some certifications, some letters behind your name that said to an employer, okay, I can vouch they have these skills. Do you want to talk briefly, Jonathan, about the, what the certification part of this means? Yes, so um, if you're familiar with CompTIA, which is uh, an IT certification organization, we'll be working closely with one of their subsidiaries called Exemplify to develop uh, a certification for mission critical operators uh, so that these are these will be a, a subject matter expert panel that will be assembled by Exemplify, uh, identified by employer partners and our organizational partners to say, yeah, these folks are the experts in the field. They'll pull those folks together. They'll decide what, uh, they'll tell us what needs to be on this certification exam. Uh, we'll develop levels of these certifications so that someone could start out at an associate level, then move up to a specialist, and then an administrative level. Uh, but the goal is to get the employers to build the certification so that we can ensure that what we're doing in the classroom directly relates to what is needed in industry. And to also piggyback on uh, employer partnerships and one thing that I think was uh, just outstanding about how Kenneth wound up uh, in the position with Wipro was um, that they contacted our um, workforce development office and said, you know, this is the position, uh, can, you, uh, can you tell us can you give us some applicants, basically? And so we then identified students to apply for these positions. And that's the kind of partnership that we want to develop. We want the employers uh, to contact us and say, hey, we have this job. You know, we know that you are developing students to fill these positions. Can you tell us, uh, you know, can you give us an applicant uh, pool? And then from there, they, uh, they choose, uh, you know, who they're going to interview. 
And we just found out just uh, very recently, as actually as of this morning, uh, that there was another student who was offered a position with Wipro. Uh, I, can't, I won't say any names or anything because none of that is finalized, but there will be a second position just like Kenneth has uh, for another student.